Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, it's kind of a sad video because we're going to be talking about broken motors, Lego EV3 motors that do not work anymore. So today what we're going to do is talk about how long I've had these motors, what it looks like when they have come to the end of their life, and what to, you know, how to test to see if they're broken or not and to take a look at some new motors. So if you want to see all of that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and go with the nitty gritty here. Um, we've had these motors since 2015. So it's 2021, so you guys can do the math. These motors lasted about six years. Some of them did go a lot sooner than that, and some are still going. So there's a difference in their life expectancy here. We just put stickers on here so we would know, or I would know, not to give these out. But I definitely wanted to keep these on hand just in case, and then to be able to show you guys what it looks like when these things don't work anymore. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like when these things don't work anymore. Okay guys, so I have a broken motor here and a working motor here. So it's going to be kind of obvious um, what a broken motor will look like. So if you take this motor and just spin it, you'll see how it continues to spin even after I let go. With this broken motor here, it's going to just, it's just going to stop. And you can tell the difference, or you can even hear the difference. When I try to, to spin this, it's really hard to spin. And with this one here, it just spins a lot more freely. But you would never want to just toss this in the trash. So what we're gonna do is just hook this up to a brick and test to make sure that this one does not work. Okay, so I got a brick here and I would always suggest to have two different cables because yes, there is a chance that you possibly just have a bad cable. So I always get a second one just to make sure our diagnosis is correct. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna hook this one up here to the bad motor. And we shall go ahead and just do motor control and we'll test this guy. So I have this plugged into B and there is the evidence that this thing just doesn't work, whoops. Okay, so I'm pressing left, right, up, down, and this motor's not doing anything. And then I would definitely suggest plugging it into a different port just to verify that. Okay, so let's do what I said I was going to do. Let's just double check this with a different cable now. And uh, we're going to just, it makes me sad to think. Okay, so I have it plugged into C. So again, just double check with different cables, double check in different ports, because sometimes you might have a port issue on your brick. So I would definitely recommend changing your ports and this guy is not working. And so, and then I would always try the good motor just to prove that we, we do have a working motor here. So we know the cable's good, we know this motor is good, and it's just sad to think that this guy has just reached the end of his life here. So left, right, we're getting no response. So that's the sad truth is just, you know, I can just tell by turning this thing, this thing is dead. We've tested it with two different cables, we've tested it in all these ports, and it's just not working. So, you know, we're going to eventually now have to re replace this. And the thing now with EV3, because this thing is retiring, these motors are now going to be super expensive. So, um, you know, my suggestion would be, hey, guys, go with Inventor, go with Spike Prime, because these are now just going to be really hard to come by. And if you need a lot of them, they're just not going to be in plentiful supply. So this motor, sad to say, is gone. Um, you know, I would keep these though. You know why? Is you might be able to, there's always going to be a collector that just wants to collect old, you know, antique motors. And so 
you know, NXT, I'm sure somebody wants to just have a collection of motors. So I don't know. It'd just be, it would just be sad to toss these. I mean, you can toss broken connectors, but to toss a motor away, I don't know. Depends on who you are. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what brand new motors look like. So guys, again, if you can afford it, it would be nice to start your first LEGO League season with brand new motors. Wow, look how shiny that thing is. And it doesn't have all of that tire wear. You got, don't you hate that tire wear that when it rubs, when it rubs on things? But like brand new motor. So the nice thing about these motors, you know, they've never made a mistake in their life. It's kind of like a brand new pen, you know? It's just never made a mistake. And I guess the more realistic uh, benefits of having these new motors is they just won't have all that wear and tear that the older motors have had. You know, they've gone through some definite wear and tear, students going zzzz and spinning it. I hate when they do that. Okay, guys, so that's the life of a robotics teacher or student. You're just going to come across a time when your motors are going to die. And the bad part is, you know, you can have a robot like this, and if one of those motors decides to go out, it has now rendered the other motor kind of useless, and you're going to have to take the whole robot apart and replace the bad one so that both of them can work now. Because if you're doing like a BC program where they're, you know, plugged into BC and one doesn't work, it's now not going to, it's going to cause the other one not to work either. So it's, uh, we salute the motor and we say thank you for all of the learning you have given to students. Thank you for all the first Lego League or all the joy that the student might have had or students have had. And you say thank you for your service and we will now send you off on your way to the big motor heaven and sky. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little weird, but it's just sad to be able to see these motors do its job and then at, come to the end of their life. So, sorry guys. All right, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.